you never expect to have uh, so much dissension over something that has the possibility to be so good for a neighborhood. Some pretty tense moments at the Winston-Salem City Council meeting last night. The council voted to push back a decision on whether to sell a nine acre lot in the Happy Hill area to the arts based school, which as many of you know is a charter school that's currently in the 1300 block of Martin Luther King Drive. Now the Happy Hill community sits just a few minutes south of downtown Winston-Salem. Fox 8's Madison Forsey joins us live now. Madison city leaders are now looking for the community's input. Councilmember Annette Scipio tells me that she will host a community input session next Wednesday at 6 o'clock at the Sims Recreation Center. I talked to her on the phone this afternoon and she said there is a lot of misunderstandings about this lot that sits behind me and about the future of Happy Hill. We are not against progress. We're not against revitalization. We're not even against a great school, but we are saying we should not get crumbs here. People in the Happy Hill community are worried about a new school near their homes. When we look at this land, the land was set aside to be affordable housing, then that's what we wanted to be, and we wanted to go to people who truly need affordable housing. City leaders plan to sell the 8.9 acres of land to the arts-based school. The school needed help to reduce the student wait list to enroll, which is currently at 400 kids each year. School leaders would also lease a wing of the old Diggs Elementary next door. Neighbors believe the land could serve a better purpose. When affordable housing is dwindling in Winston-Salem and across the country, the school, the art-based school, presents another plan by the powers that be to take an important asset that is from the community that is land through gentrification. Council member Annette Scipio tells Fox 8 there are dozens of empty lots in the area. They've been this way for years. She believes the community can find a way to have both good housing and education. Scipio adds a quality school and a good education are two ways for many members to lift themselves out of poverty. We feel like there needs to be more space for uh, particularly some of the neighborhood children. So if it doesn't reflect that community uh, contemporarily and historically, that is a problem, right? I did reach out to our arts based school community or excuse me, the art based school leaders to ask them about the situation and about the enrollment process. And I have not heard back just yet. The Winston Salem City Council will reconsider this item at an October meeting in Winston Salem, Madison Forsey, Fox 8 News, Madison.